Hi, I'm here today to make your life easier with this tiny, compact, yet powerful 10 gigabit switch. Usually that would mean uh, SFP plus modules, right? But I really mean it when I say easier. This tiny switch has four 10 gigabit Ethernet ports ready to use right out of the box. No extra modules needed. And there's an additional gigabit Ethernet port for management purposes. Handy. The convenience doesn't stop with the ports. The enclosure itself is a real piece of art. On the back, it works as a massive heatsink, so you don't need any fans to cool it. It runs as silent as a ninja on tiptoes in a library during the night. You get the idea. You can keep this switch on the table and it won't bother you. Also, the enclosure is really sturdy. As I hold this switch, I feel the perfect balance of heavy and light. You need to touch it. It has that premium feeling. For the fraction of the price of, I don't know, AirPods Pro, for example, the wireless headphones, you know. But AirPods can't run router OS and switch OS, can they? This switch can. Furthermore, take a closer look on the side. There's a DIN rail mount for all your mounting needs. But wait, there's more. On the back, there's the standard screw attachment option. And also, you can take this DIN rail mount and attach it here on the back as well. Really handy. Now, let's talk about powering options. I will start my two hour lecture with the DC jacks. There's two of them, for redundancy. But I know you guys like failovers. So we've also added the two pin terminal and POV in. That's four ways of powering. Should you lose the juice in one power source, another will pick it up. Normally, the switch will choose uh, the power source with the highest voltage. Finally, the dual core ARM CPU and the Marvel Prestera switch chip ain't joking around. This switch can handle everything you would expect and even more. Port to port forwarding, a broadcast storm control, uh, MAC filtering, VLANs, uh, traffic mirroring, bandwidth limitations, uh, even some layer 3 hardware offloading, as well as adjusting some MAC and IP header fields. Like I said, tiny yet powerful. I would say the perfect scenario is having one of these compact switches on your desk and another one in your backpack for emergency situations and extra swag points. The price, the size, the durability and the power definitely allows it. You know you want it. I know I want it. So let's get it. Here it is, the 10 gigabit CRS 304.